ladies and gentlemen, what's playing in the background is Cindy Lauper and her true colors. And I'm not a big fan of this type of music by Cindy. I, I you know, girls just want to have fun and all that. I, I, I kind of like that stuff, but not a big fan of this stuff right here because it has a little techno to it. And I'm not a techno person, but because I don't want to hit fast forward on the system, I will be moving around so that you guys don't have to hear it for the most part. And then I'll get back to the computer and finish what I'm doing. I have to shut blinds and everything because it's getting night time. And so I'm tired of people looking on in here when they drive by with their booming systems. Cars drive by with the booming systems. Hello, Cool J. Ladies and gentlemen, vehicle vessel use tax clearance request. This is the exemption form. CDTFA 106 for the state of California. You have a usage tax. Now, this comes from the Department of Tax and Fee Administration. Okay, Department of Revenue, ladies and gentlemen. You have one in your state. For vehicles, you have to document, you have to document that the vehicle is used for what purposes? For non-commercial purposes. There is the address for California, okay? Online services dot c d t f a dot c a dot gov. That's where you get this form. If you're in California, if you're in another state, it's called the usage tax exemption form. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, I have plugged in, pay attention, things into wall sockets as opposed to into inverters because I am now plugged into the solar. And the last thing I have to do is hook up the other five solar panels and I'm good to go. But for right now, it feels so good to be able to print documents up like I have been doing for the past 15 minutes. Just printing them up and I don't have to turn on no equipment to turn on the printer or to charge up the other batteries. I can charge up all of the auxiliary batteries and reserve batteries at the exact same time. Don't have to turn on no generator or nothing. So that's a good thing. The freezer is on, charging, uh, not the freezer is on and charging, but the freezer is on and freezing food and everything else is connected. So let's just say it's about time. So I am grateful to be able to say that. And now I just have to take care of all the minor little things. All right. One last thing, ladies and gentlemen, those of you who have vehicles. This is the certificate of non-operations. As a matter of fact, I need to print this. Print. Ladies and gentlemen, this certificate of non-operation is for a vehicle. This is the form for California. One, two, three. And print. You need to duplicate that. Okay? You cannot just print one. It comes with two per sheet. Okay, and so it's a two-page document, okay? So I'm going to explain to you, this is Bobby Brown, ladies and gentlemen, and he's singing that he'll be good to somebody. This is from that, I believe, the first album that he did when he went out on his own. Most of the songs were, it was Teddy Riley, so most of the songs sounded like the previous song, sound like what Janet Jackson did with Teddy Riley. Sorry, Jimmy Jam. <laughs> anyway, uh, pay attention. This vehicle is not, has not been used on the highways. Well, the vehicle that I had hadn't been used on the highways. Okay, has been parked at a garaging location, and since I've had any of my vehicles, I have not used them on the highways. I'm not a driver. I am not a, what's the word for it? Operator. Let's continue. For greater than four years, this vehicle is not for commercial use, for profit or gain, but is for household use, consumer goods used 
as defined in the Uniform Commercial Code, Article 9, Section 102 and 109, and is exempt from excise tax. Now, it doesn't say tax. It just has the parentheses, and I didn't do the close paren, and I'm so sorry. Anyway, C, the right to property clause and the right to the enjoyment of life clause of the Constitution. Let me, let me do that now. Typewriter. Oh, it's already done. Okay, so I can amend it. Okay, I didn't even know that that's the way this was done. Um, we're going to do close paren. Sorry. Okay, by this owner. I can live with that. And then what I do is I click off, then I click back, go to this little center, and bring it on up. Matter of fact, we'll do it that way. Looks better, doesn't it? All right. Um, and I need to get rid of this. Let's get rid of that use. Okay, so, but it's for household consumer goods use, comma, as defined by the Uniform Commercial Code, Article 9, and is exempt from excise. And we don't have to put tax. We just put simply excise. Is exempt from excise. Okay. And then we put our colon the right to property clause and the right to the enjoyment of life clause of the Constitution and will remain such until such time as determined by this owner. Okay, and then we, because I'm going to have to print this again. I just printed it, and so I'm going to have to print it again. And then we take that and we capitalize it. Now what I have to do is I have to get rid of this. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, no, because I do have to get rid of it. I don't know how I did it. I think I may have done a text box. Okay. No, let's get rid of the text box. We go back to edit. And we're going to go. This is Michael Jackson. And I think he's talking about healing somebody's world. What are you doing, Michael? You talking about healing the world? Well, you can do it from 12 feet underground. Oh, that's right. I got to do this. So we're going to have delete, delete, and we're going to do delete, and we're going to do delete. Now, each one of you in your state, no, as a matter of fact, I'm going to do this right the first time so I don't have to do it again. Let's make sure. Dag Nabbit. Okay, I got to figure out which one was used. Nope, can't do that one. Do this one. Uh oh. Let's do that to get rid of that. And we'll do typewriter. Nope, can't do the typewriter. Uh oh. I don't know how this happened. Oh well. Let's do select text. Nope, won't let me do that either. Oh, well, won't be using that one. And make it a better place, y'all. Cut. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Cut. Uh-oh, that didn't work. 
oh yeah, I can't do that. That's too much. You see, it took the whole thing away. So can't do that. Undo that. Huh. Yeah, it's because of the fact that way it's done. And so I can't do anything because I can't reshape this or nothing. All right. But ladies and gentlemen, you have this usage tax exempt form in your state. The only thing you have to do is fill it out. Okay. And I'm going to take care of that bottom line. Um, oh, that's why that's why I put this, because they have under the penalty of perjury. Okay, so I'm going to do wholly accurate. Normally, I would get rid of all of this, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do my wholly accurate. Holy Toledo, Batman! Okay, so we're going to do the wholly accurate. Nope, can't do that. Undo. Undo. Okay, now we have to do redo. Make sure everything is the way it's supposed to be. And now I copy this. That's because I'm not doing it for the first time. When you get the form, if you put it in PDF Exchange, you won't be able to do, well, you will be able to do it because that's how I did it. I just did the original form in PDF Exchange, paste, and I already had this typed up, or I typed it up in one document and then moved it to all the other documents by copying it and doing exactly what I'm doing now. Okay? And I'm listening to Michael, and he was talking about Isaiah and Michael Micah where they talked about uh, turning their shears into plowshares and learning war no more. He added a lot of information from scripture in many of his songs. And most people caught it because even when they were younger, they added words like salvation and all of that to songs. And a lot of people caught it. As a matter of fact, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I know what I'm going to do. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to bring it to number 11. And because I brought it to number 11, now I can go and I can reshape this to where it fits in the square a lot easier. And we're going to bring it up one more again. Right there is fine. And so, and the reason why we're going through this so just in case some people, because a lot of you must understand, a lot of people are not tech savvy. They don't know how to do things like this. So that's why I keep the video on for some of the videos so that they can see how I'm doing it as opposed to not just seeing that I'm doing it. And I can add the VIN and all of that stuff later. Okay, you see how I lined it up so where you can easily read it and the lines don't get in the way? I could have gotten rid of all the lines, but I decided I wanted to stay within the lines, dude. You and for me. You and for me. The reason why I'm doing this right now is because when I went back, I left one of the sections here, and that's this one. And if I had deleted it, I would have had to copy the other section first before bringing it back here. So now I don't have to do it because I've already done it. And I just have to drag and drop. I think we're going to bring you up here. All right. There you go. They're all there. Now, here is the last thing. I have to get a text box. And I have to hit the space bar once. I hit the space bar once in order to get this thing to stay. And now that I have it this way, I'm going to do this. And those of you who have PDF Exchange, just go back and watch. What I'm going to do now is you see this red line thing right here? I'm going to click that, and I'm going to hit this white box. No more lines. Then I'm going to click off of it. And now, no, I can't have that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Edit Form. Oh, no, did I do it already? I have to click copy. 
Sorry, give me one second. I didn't know if I copied it already, so this will take care of that, and I don't think I did. So now I take what I just copied and I paste it there, and then I just move it here. And I don't want to do the whole thing, the whole line, because I'll get rid of the lines and then it'll look ugly. So now I just do it that way, and now you don't even notice that what was there at first. Okay? And I do that with the whole document. Okay, the issue is I've shown you guys the videos. You can go and look it up. I think my phone might be ringing. Oh, no, that's that uh, Google stupid uh, assistant thing. Ladies and gentlemen, all of you who live in states who have the exemption, now you know that there is an exemption form for taxes, for your property, for your vessels, but there's also one for your home. Yes, they make you go through this because they want to put you through the hoops because they're not just going to waive your taxes when they can document the bringing in of income revenue for the state because they need that revenue. That's how they pay for their Christmas parties. Look, ladies and gentlemen, why do you think the Pentagon can lose trillions of dollars and then nobody worries about it? Because they got you guys to pay for it. They always keep talking about how it's a burden on a taxpayer because you guys will pay for it. They know you will. And so they can count on you like clockwork because you will pay for their mistakes. So I choose, I am one of Jehovah's Witnesses and I must, I must, I must obey Caesar's laws. And so I will follow the law. Now, here's what the law allows me to do. The law, the law allows me to sit up here and document that I'm tax exempt when it comes to stuff like this, because the law says that my private property that is used for private use, not commercial use, is mine to do with as I choose. Well, I choose not to pay taxes on something I don't have to pay taxes on. I choose not to throw money away because I can't afford to be throwing money away. Now, I know some of you guys are rich. Y'all can just throw stuff away because y'all don't care. Y'all don't recycle. Well, I, I decycle, M cycle, and me cycle. Okay? I don't try cycle. Okay? Just don't work that way. So, what I'm trying to get you guys really to understand is you guys are going to have to sit up here and start taking care of yourselves. I can't do it for you. I can only point out the fact that the documents exist. Okay, there are going to be people out there who are going to start businesses. Now, look, this is I do need to explain this, and I'm so glad I just brought this up. Ladies and gentlemen, there are going to be people out there who are going to start businesses. And I am not going to be angry that they saw my video and they decided to start a business helping people do this stuff. What I say is if you're going to get information from me and I'm the only one talking about this stuff, go ahead and look. Go ahead and look. You don't hear anybody else talking about the exemption forms except for Gene Elkins. He talked about this stuff years ago. Okay? But I've already known about it. And so I am uh, on Gene. That's Gene. A lot of respect for that young man. Okay? Gene Elkins has been telling people about this stuff for years. Okay, it's just that not everybody chooses to listen. So what I do is right now, I hit print because my document is complete for me. Okay, and when it hits print, I got to print three of these. And when I print three, because there are three different vehicles or three different vessels. Doesn't matter how you say it, people. They can have their legalese. Go ahead and keep your legalese, but that's not my definition of vehicle. Well, that's the, the Congress's definition. I don't give a fuck what Congress defini define. Congress doesn't sit up there and uh, create words for me. Those are Congress's words. I'm not using Congress's words. I'm using my words. My words, in my opinion, have more power than Congress's words. Doesn't matter if you take what I say and you try to twist it and spin it however you want. Go right ahead and do that. As Luther is telling you guys in the background, never too much. 
So I say what I say because that's the way I mean it. I don't mean it any other way. These are my words. This is what I am doing. Wait, as a matter of fact, it ain't printed. What's going on with you? Oh, okay, now it's printing. I'll take all that time. I don't know what you're sitting up here messing my day up for. Go ahead and hurry up and print. All right, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, I just wanted to share this information with you. I hope it was beneficial. I know the last part was just me doing it, but I promise you there are some people out there. Remember, you want to finish the document with saying the aforementioned is wholly accurate to the best of my knowledge. You want to put there, see, a penalty is due if filed after the vehicle registration expiration date. So if you wait till after the expiration date, you owe a penalty. Well, ladies and gentlemen, don't file this after the registration date. File it now. Okay? And as I said, you don't need a driver's license to drive an automobile. You do need an ID. The Supreme Court says if you're out in public, then you're required to have identification. Sorry, they have said that in several cases. We've already gone over that with you. So that's why I was carrying around the identification I created or carrying around the uh, world passport. But I don't need any of that anymore. I'm going to use the regular ID like I have been, and I'm going to continue that way. Just that simple. All right, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, ladies and gents, I'm going to move on with the information, finish what I need to finish, and get ready to go lay down because it's been a long day. I want to thank all of you for taking the time. Hey, Luther, can you take us on out of here? Ladies and gentlemen, he, he wants to sit up here and have a screaming and hollering heart. Love is a gamble, ladies and gentlemen, that he's winning. Then we've come a long way, and this is only the beginning. Oh, my love! Gotta go. Take care of yourselves, everybody. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. A thousand kisses from me.